The Duwamish River industrial area has been hard at work for over a century. But all that manufacturing progress through the years came with one substantial side effect, serious pollution, sometimes blatant, uncontrolled dumping. So serious, in fact, the Duwamish became an EPA Superfund site in 2001. The cleanup costs could run into hundreds of millions of dollars. Once that investment is made, the waterway must be protected from being contaminated all over again. That's where the city of Seattle comes in. Slip 4 is the site of an $8 million cleanup that just got finished, removing over 10,000 cubic yards of toxic material and replacing it with clean fill. This is just the beginning of a long-term story. The success of this site ultimately will rely on all of us making good choices well into the future so that it doesn't get dirty again. Seattle Public Utilities already has set the stage for cleanup by working to control pollution sources now. It employs investigative teams to monitor storm drainage line pollutants. If you're claustrophobic or have a fear of the dark, this job is not for you. But if you want accurate readings on water quality, someone has to go underground. You pull the bucket out, okay, and empty it out, and then I'll send up the grab sample to you next. Some of the main pollutants that we're looking for are PCBs, and then some select metals like mercury, copper, and zinc. Um, those are things that are, can be toxic to both humans and to the habitat in the river. These samples quickly make their way to a local lab for testing. The material is digested, broken down, analyzed, and tagged for every toxic trace it contains. We're trying to eliminate all the garbage that we don't want to see and end up with just the types of compounds we're looking for in the final extract that goes to the instrument. Toxic findings mean more field investigation upstream. Ultimately, once a source contaminant is found and removed from the system, the lines have to be cleaned out. We're in a residential area in Seattle, at least a mile from the Duwamish. We found elevated levels of petroleum hydrocarbons here, and we have the jet equipment. They're going to jet and vector out the line. We've done, in the last three years, about five miles of line, and we've removed about a thousand tons of contaminated material. I'm going to want to look at the hazardous waste storage areas, your fueling area. There are thousands of businesses in the Duwamish watershed, and SPU on-site inspectors work to make sure that businesses are part of the solution, not part of the problem. There's probably only about a half an inch of sediment in there. It looks good. A lot of people don't understand where their drains go on their site. It's really important that everybody understands where every drain goes. Pape Rentals in South Seattle moves big equipment around every day. That's gas, oil, and battery-powered machinery rolling over a substantial footprint. Our policy is that when you have any kind of little spill, if floor dry goes onto the ground, you pick it right back up. While business inspections are proving productive, the next level of control is homeowners and local residents. And that's where you come in. Part of the concern is storing chemicals that have the potential to pollute. Things like oil, lubricant, cleaners, paints. All of these have a lot of toxic materials that if left out in the rain are gonna end up in the storm drain. So we wanna make sure it's all properly kept inside and they've got a means to handle any spill. The Duwamish is making a comeback. The more we can do up front to prevent the bad things from going in, either by not using them or making sure that they're disposed of appropriately, the better off we and the Duwamish are going to be in the future.